The Easter Bunny Tale by J.J. Fitzpatrick. It was two weeks before Easter, and this was the busiest time at the farmyard. Easter activities were scheduled to take place around the farm. There was an Easter egg hunt, rides on Dilly Dally the donkey, and tractor-drawn wagon rides to the outdoor petting zoo. Everyone was looking forward to all the excellent Easter events, seeing the springtime babies and having lots of fun on the farm. Bo Peep the sheep was baying out orders. Henrietta the chicken was clucking away, organizing the other chickens in the farmyard who were busy getting their eggs decorated for the Easter celebrations. The chicks were chirping as they busied themselves helping. They were not the only ones working hard. Buttermilk the cow was busy collecting and lining up buckets as she and the other cows were sharing in milk for the chocolate. The people who lived on the farmhouse were hanging decorations in readiness for the Easter celebrations. There was sounds of clatter and laughing coming from the farmhouse. Through the windows you could see the people rushing around laughing merrily with each other. The only ones who lived on the farmyard that wasn't busy were the two bunnies, Top Hat and Tails. The bunnies were feeling a little sad. They were not the usual selves running around at top speed. Even the turtles were running faster. Top Hat and Tails were unhappy because they were tired of just being available for magic tricks, being pulled out of hats. They were sick and tired of magic shows. The two bunnies thought it would be a good idea to help the chickens decorate the eggs, but they were a bit clumsy and broke quite a few. You can't help us anymore, clucked the chickens. You're breaking our eggs. So the bunnies went to help the cows. But they were moving around so quickly, they soon began spilling buckets of milk. Move! Please go away, said the cows. Look, you're spilling our milk. So Top Hat and Tills decided to help the people. However, after a few minutes of helping the people, there was a loud clatter and a big splash. Oh, goodness, bunnies, look what you've done, said a woman in the house. As she looked crossly at the bunnies. The children in the house looked down at the two bunnies and squealed with delight. Oh, mother, look! They're chocolate-covered bunnies! Top Hat and Tails looked each other up and down and they both started laughing. For the first time that day, the bunnies looked happy. They knew exactly what they could do to celebrate Easter. Top Hat and Tails rushed off to their burrows. They returned dressed smartly in their bow ties and both of them were carrying a basket of decorated eggs. The bunny posed for the children and the many visitors who came to the farmhouse. And after every pose, a delightful chocolate mold of each bunny was made. And that is how you have the Easter bunny. Which is how the bunnies got their first modeling contract.